So welcome to the project demonstration of smart blind stick with IoT and location tracking. So in this project we have the uh, two main uh, sensors. Like one is a water sensor to detect the water content and ultrasonic sensor to detect the obstacles. So based on these two we are going to alert the person those are this blind stick by using this buzzer. So from this buzzer we are going to provide the audible alerts in two different ways. For uh, soil moisture sensor it will give the beeps and for obstacle sensor it will give the continuous buzzer indication. And these two sensors interface it to the Arduino Nano and it will process that sensor's data and it will provide as a digital output to the buzzer. As well as it will read the input from the global positioning system this is GPS and the same location data will be sent to the Blink application through this ESP8266. And also we have the emergency switch whenever the person need help then he need to press the switch then automatically a alert notification will be sent to the app. So for that no need to open the app just the app will run in background. So when we press the switch so it will provide the alert notification into the app so that we can track the person also where he is now. So from this Google Maps. So in our project the main input sensors are soil moisture sensor which was interface edge pin number uh, 9 and emergency switch interface edge pin number 8 and ultrasonic sensor interface edge pin number 2 and 3 and Wi-Fi module interface with the transmitter pin of nano and receiver pin of nano is interfaced to the our GPS module and the buzzer interface edge pin number 12. So these are the GPIO pins interfacing uh, connections and coming to the trans uh, like ultrasonic sensor. So it has a two modules one is a transmitter here we can see T and R. So the transmitter will transmit the ultrasonic waves. So whenever a ob uh, object is placed in front of that, the surface of the object will reflect the those transmitter ultrasonic waves and that reflected ray waves will be received by the receiver module. So there we are going to calculate the distance right. So based on the time and the speed as we know the speed of the sound and we got the time from the receiver module. So from there we are going to calculate the distance. So ultrasonic sensor is a model number of SR04 can measure the distance up to 4 meters. So in our project demonstration we kept the distance for 45 centimeters. So if the object is presence in front of the sensor is less than the 45 centimeters then the system is came to know that the obstacle is detected and then it will on the buzzer. Same thing for the moisture content also. So here we can see the two electrodes were placed here. So whenever the moisture content presence in between these two electrodes the conductivity will increase as the water has a conduction and based on that conductivity the voltage increases. So the control will get the digital output directly from this moisture sensor amplifier. So this will amplify the variable voltage to digital output means it will provide the 0 1. Whenever the water presents it will provide the 0 voltage. Whenever the water not presents it will provide the 5 volts. So based on this digital variation our system will indicate the buzzer uh, directly from the digital output here. Then let us see the demonstration. So here we are going to demonstrate before that we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So for that go to hotspot settings of your phone. Change the hotspot name to project 5530 all are small letters without any space. And the password should be 12345678 and the third change 2.4 GHz AP band. So these three are very important. Check twice before on the hotspots. Right. On the hotspots along with data. And now go to the blink application. So as of now there is a red icon over here. So it will show that the device is offline. Means there is no network for that device. So when it is online the red box will go away. Right. And the whole system getting power supply from this rechargeable battery. So here we are using the rechargeable battery of 3.7 volts 2000 mAh as a battery ratings. And here we are using TP4046 as a charger. So we need to connect the B type charger to this very gently because it is a bit sensitive. And after that it will show the status of battery charging. So this particular light will off after battery is fully charged and the beside there is a blue light will get switched on. So it's showing the status of the battery is fully charged. And we need to provide the 5 volts power supply because our operating voltage for the whole input and output modules is 5 volts. For that purpose we are making use of a boost converter which will take 3.7 volts input and provide as a 5 volts output. So which is the main operating voltage to the whole circuit. So we are providing that at this breadboard. So here we are distributing the 5 volts power supply from this boost converter throughout the board. From here we are distributing that to input and output modules. 
सो दिस इज द मेन ऑन ऑफ स्विच फॉर अर होल किड्स स्विच ऑन द किड्स सो इनशियल द बजर विल बी ऑन एंड ऑफ टू टाइम्स ओके The blind stick is connected now. Right, so the device is connected. So if any obstacle presents, so it will give the beep sound. So if the water presents, let me show you the water input also. Right, now it is normal. So like a beep sound will be announced so that the person can differentiate the sound from the water to obstacle sensor. Right. So when we show this project demonstration, we should keep this under the sky view so that we will get the satellite vision to this GPS antenna. This is the antenna. This is GPS processor. So it will provide us the exact latitude longitude values, and from there we are going to get the same location, live location on the Google Maps.